If you have a thousand followers on TikTok, I'm gonna show you exactly what to focus on to get to 10,000 followers as quickly as possible and start making sales. The biggest problem that creators face once they hit a thousand followers and earn that link in bio is that they aren't getting sales. And I know it's super frustrating, but at this stage, the best thing you can do is keep focusing on growth. Because as you continue to grow your views and your followers, your leads and sales are gonna grow as well. And if you implement the strategies that I'm gonna share in this video, you're not only going to grow faster, but you're gonna be able to make 10K, 20K, or even 30K in sales with only 10,000 followers. Now, a lot of y'all have been asking me for a video like this in the comments that isn't just aimed at beginners because I've created a lot of content about what to do if you're stuck at 200 views or how to get that first thousand subscribers. So in this video, I wanna share the more advanced strategies and what I focused on to go from 1,000 to 10K because it took me an entire month to get my first thousand subscribers and get that link in my bio. But from there, I was able to grow to 10,000 followers in just two weeks. And the first thing that I did is I studied what was working on my account. You probably heard me say this on the channel before but you really don't learn anything from your videos that only get 200 or 300 views. It's the successful videos that really teach you how to grow. You want to study what you did in those. What were the topics? What were the hooks? What kind of format did you use? How long was the video? What kind of text did you put on the screen? All of these things factor into how many views you get because they impact your watch time. So you want to study the things that you did and the commonalities between all your successful videos. The next part is to keep doing what you've already been doing. A lot of people are tempted to change it up once they have some success, but you actually actually want to double down on what's already working. That means that you should keep doing your research, keep watching what other creators in your niche are doing and making your versions of their outlier content. You're gonna grow so much faster if you use the proven content, both yours and what other people have discovered. You also want to recreate, if not repost your best content. If you have a video that's gone viral and gotten you 100,000 views or a million views, Post it again, make a new version of it. There's a reason that works, so don't try to get cute and don't be afraid to create it again. All of our content goes out to the For You page first. So most of the people that are gonna see your new videos, they've never seen your old content. They're discovering you for the first time. They've never seen anything, ever. So that means you can recreate your greatest hits over and over and over again to attract a new audience. Same thing with your best topics. If you have topics that are successful, create new versions of those topics. Explain them in a different way. I do this all the time, both on TikTok and YouTube. And what's great about it is that I already know that people are interested in that. And for the people that do follow me and watch every single piece of my content, me explaining it in a different way three or four times might help something like click in their mind. Because maybe I share this new nugget of information that I didn't include previously, or maybe I've learned something new and so I have a twist on what I've said previously. But by repeating those topics, I'm more likely to grow my audience and help the people on the other end of the screen get results. And that's what's gonna grow your brand and your business. Next, I want you to focus on improving what you're already doing. That means focus on your consistency as a creator, increase your efficiency in creating videos, and even consider increasing the frequency with which you post, but make sure that you're not sacrificing the quality or the research that you need for your content. The more often you post, the faster you're gonna grow, but posting three to five times per day alone doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get more followers. In fact, if you increase the frequency at the expense of doing the research and making sure that you're creating great content that your audience is actually going to be interested in, then you're going to notice that your views are going to drop and your follower growth is going to slow. Finally, we want to start focusing on my ABCs of growing on TikTok. So far and in all of my past videos, I'm mostly talking about A, which means audience or growing your account, growing your following, getting more views. Now we want to start focusing on B, which means binge and C for conversion. We're actually going to talk about conversion or making money on TikTok here in a minute, but first I want to focus on B, our binge content, because creating binge content is not only going to help your growth, but it's going to make your sales more effective. And I think it's important to define and differentiate these different types of content because it's going to help you separate like your emotional roller coaster that comes with the views of the videos and instead focus on the process of creating content that's going to build a loyal following and help you grow a business if that's what you're using TikTok for. And that's where this bingeable content comes into play. When you first start creating your binge content, you may not get a lot of views and that's okay. The views will come. At this stage, I just want you to focus on creating and kind of discovering your voice, creating in a way that's natural to you and seems to flow and is easy to create. And when it comes to your bingeable content, I want you to put 
all of your time into coming up with good ideas, headlines, and hooks. Because just like our shorter form content, our goal is still to get people to stop scrolling and to watch as much of our video as possible. So we have to grab their attention and we need to increase the watch time as much as we possibly can. Now, I will note here that it's still easier to get massive watch time when you have shorter videos. And so I wouldn't try to make them too long at first. But if you have any plans to get monetized through the Creativity Program Beta program, then you're gonna need videos of at least a minute long. And so I would really just aim to keep your content like as close to like a minute and one second as you possibly can. You can share so much value inside of that one minute, but that's gonna make it easier for you to get the watch time. And it's probably gonna help you be less wordy and make a more effective video that keeps the viewer's attention. And then it's eligible to earn you money. Speaking of idea, headline, and hook, I wanna share my phone and walk you through making one of these videos because I know you guys love when I do these walkthroughs. So I've pulled up here a video and I actually have it as a pinned video in my profile right now so you can go check it out. This video is one of these talking educational videos, got about 12,000 views when I first posted it. And it's about, the raw one is about three minutes long. I don't know how long the uh, actual one is. So the first thing I'm gonna do after I upload it is I'm gonna go to the next screen here and I'm going to put a title. This is like number one. You wanna make sure that you had a good hook and like, like a verbal spoken hook at the beginning of your video that's gonna get people's attention, which I definitely did here. But the text above your head is super important. Now, I will say, if you feel pressure about creating this type of content, this video is a perfect example of videos that you might not expect to do well, doing really well. I was not feeling well. I was doing this in between sets, working out in my home, you know, my like home garage gym. And it's really not the best. Like you'll notice, I don't even sound super into it at the beginning, but it did very well for a talking video. And it just goes to show that it all starts with a good idea. And the idea behind this video was like, how do you price a digital product? Because if you are creating content and you want to create passive income on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, Digital products are a great way to do it. And so I was in the process of developing a digital product and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna talk about the pricing and the thought process that I've gone through with like 10 years of experience selling and promoting digital products for myself and for my clients. And so I knew that this was a good idea because I knew it was something that people ask about. And so as I was recording this video, I was thinking like, what's the first thing that I can say to grab people's attention? And what I ended up going with is, if you're not sure how to price your digital product, this video should be helpful. I'm gonna break down the thought process that I've been going through over the last few days as I've been putting together my own digital product. But what I did is I kind of played on something that I knew people had confusion about. I called out my ideal viewer. Now, I doubled down on that with this text above the screen, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in what I had used for my headline, which was pricing a digital product to hit your money goals. So pretty simple, and then I just made this a little bit bigger and I moved it up on the screen. Now the reason that, that headline works so well is because I said right from the beginning, pricing a digital product. So the people that are interested in that, if they're reading it, like they got that right away. But then I added some curiosity because I used the money signs and I said to hit your money goals. And so what I've done here is I've created another question in my audience's mind because now they're thinking, well, if I wanna make money with a digital product, then clearly the way that I price it is going to impact my ability to make money. And that's what you really want to do with your headline is you wanna let make sure that they know what it's about and they know that they need to stop scrolling. And then you want to supercharge that by creating some sort of curiosity. Curiosity is by far one of the most effective things that you can learn to use in both your content and in your copywriting, which is what it means when you're putting little text on the screen like we do in these videos. And you don't need to overthink this because you can always try something different. You can always make another video about the same topic and use a different hook or use a different headline or repost the same video with a different headline. So once I have that out of the way, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually edit the video. And there are some tools that you can use where you can like upload the video and it will automatically remove any silent parts or and then you can go in and you can delete the pieces where you said the same thing because you messed up and you tried again. But honestly, you can do the same thing with the TikTok editor. So we're gonna click the editor here and then all you're gonna do, and I'm not gonna bore you with this, but you're just gonna hit play on the video. And if you hit this edit button and I gotta hit play again, when you get to a part where it's like the end of what you were saying and you stopped, just hit split. And then you can use this and you can move it forward to find the next part where you're talking. And so you just wanna do this over and over throughout the whole entire video until you get to a stopping point and then you hit save. 
And then at that point, I would recommend hitting next and go ahead and save it to drafts. I really try to save it to my drafts at every stage of the process so I don't lose the work and have to do it again. But then we're gonna go back and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add auto captions. And it's important that you do that editing before you do the auto captions or it starts to get really wonky. And so I'm just gonna go here in the menu and I'm gonna click on captions. That's not the right button. Captions here. And so this whole entire thing is just gonna upload some, it's taking a long time because I didn't actually trim this video down. And then we're just gonna move that. Like I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and I'm gonna go and adjust the size and I'm gonna move it down here where I want. So it's kind of like below my mouth. And then I'm gonna go into it and you can either leave them alone or you can edit them to have you know a smaller number of words, however you wanna do it. I've done it both ways. I usually just leave it alone, but I do like to check it to make sure there's no like really weird typos because, but then again, if you do like, who cares? Because there's like grammar police out there. And if they comment like about you had a typo or something like that, it's just engagement and watch time. So like, who cares? So once you have that in place, you're going to go ahead and save it. And then we're going to go back to that editor. And what we want to do is go to the beginning and we want to, we want to click on that text that you had at the beginning of the video. And what you want to do here is like, you just want to determine like how long is that going to show up? And so for me, I really try to keep that text above my head for about the first three to four seconds of the video. And so the idea here is that like, it's there holding people's attention and then it disappears. Cause holding people's attention in that first three seconds is really important. And so if you can have some changes on the screen in addition to the words that you're saying, that's gonna help get their attention, get their eyeballs and keep that ADD pulling them away from to go to something else. Now, once you've done all that, there's other things you can do. You can go and add extra text on the screen to emphasize certain points if you wanna do that. I really don't worry about it. I'm not, I, this isn't a YouTube video, this is TikTok. So I'm gonna hit next. And at this point, I'm gonna start writing my description. It's slow loading. And so my goal here with the description is there's kind of two things. For the first line, I want like another hook, like another opportunity because that first line is the text that's gonna show up on the video. And so I might put something like how to price your digital product to make more, more sales or more money, right? And then beyond that, I'm just gonna use keyword rich language to kind of help tell the TikTok algorithm what the video is about, right? So you might have a full paragraph, you might have three or four sentences, and you just kind of want to like make sure that it doesn't sound weird. Not I mean, most people are going to read your descriptions, but you want it to sound human. You don't want it to just be like keyword stuffing. And then I'm going to use hashtags. And just like we teach with all of our hashtags, like we're just trying to use hashtags that define like what the topic of the video is about. So I might use like online business, um, passive income, right? We're talking about digital products. I'm going to want something with digital products here. So I'm, let me write digital products, right? I'm going to say, um, you know, pricing digital products. Now I'm not researching these right now, but if I was pricing digital products only has 29 views. So that's not right. I'm going to use, instead, I'm going to use like pricing strategy with 34.5. 4 million views, okay? And do stuff like that. Um, and then I would do something like I might try and say sell digital products, 16.4, perfect. So I'm just gonna go about that. I've got a couple of hashtags here. I'm not overly worried about this. I just wanna help tell the algorithm like what is my stuff about? Now, the next part is kind of important to me. I'm gonna go to this select cover. There's a couple of things I wanna do here. First, you can preview your video like I did here. Make sure that it's formatted well, that it's like your your uh, captions are not overlapping with your description or with the buttons that are on the right side. Um, and just listening to make sure that there's no weird things, like anything else you need to go back and edit. And then I might go back and edit. Then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a cover. And actually, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go ahead and pull here and I'm just gonna copy this headline that I did. And now, it takes so long, these long videos. And now I'm gonna go back to this preview and I'm gonna click select cover and I'm just gonna pick one of the default TikTok ones. So I like to use this black one. So I'm gonna paste my text and then I'm going to kind of try to edit this so it's better like that, you know, it's just formatted better. And then I'm gonna make it almost as big as the video and I'm gonna move it up to the top to to cover up my headline. And the, and then you can choose whatever part, like you might have some like really interesting or engaging auto caption. Like if there's something, um, you know, that's like really good, or you can just leave it at the beginning and, and that's fine too. 
but the idea here is that way when somebody goes to your account like the videos that are educational videos there's going to be this text cover think of it as like your thumbnail on your youtube video and so when they're scrolling and they see those it will catch their attention and hopefully get them to dive into your longer form content your bingeable content so once you're done post the video and at this stage you're going to be focused less on the views and more about like the ideas and showing your unique personality and perspective like i really want you to lean into however you talk you notice that like i'm going to say y'all every chance i can because that's how i talk in reality but it stands out to people that aren't from texas and so like that's just one little thing that makes me a little bit unique and can attract people to me or repel people which i'm totally cool with and look i understand that talking on camera is uncomfortable at first and you may have been really attracted to the short form second se seven second videos with the trending sounds and the text on screen because you didn't have to talk and you were able to get the views and you're able to grow and you're able to generate leads and that's great i love that stuff it's fantastic as a business owner because it's so easy to create but at this stage when you have a thousand followers this is the perfect time to start creating this educational content to find your voice and to get comfortable on camera like you might be watching this video and you're like man mike you really suck at this but you also might be watching these videos and be like, man, man Mike, you are really good at this because I've seen comments where people are like, man, you explain it so well. Like you make it so easy to understand like you're blah, 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 blah. And that didn't happen by accident. I'm really uncomfortable talking in front of crowds and I was very uncomfortable talking on camera. And still to this day, it's hard. Like you can ask my editor, like I have to, you know, I just did it. I have to like repeat myself 15,000 times in order to get the idea right sometimes. So the only way to get comfortable is to practice. And the nice thing about TikTok is that when you're creating these videos early on, most people aren't gonna see them and that's not a bad thing. It gives you this really safe environment to learn and to figure out your voice and your style and like what you want to talk about and to refine your message. And you might be frustrated if you're only getting 200 views on these kind of videos, but you shouldn't be because nobody's gonna see these bad videos. They are gonna get buried behind all of these other content they don't live on forever like the YouTube videos do it's also complete strangers that are seeing your content on TikTok. you don't have to worry about your mom or your grandma or your friends or the people you went to high school with seeing your videos you can actually turn off contacts and all of those things inside of your settings and the algorithm anyway is gonna focus on reaching new people that are interested in the topic that you speak about and so if somebody that doesn't know you doesn't like you thinks you're an idiot, doesn't like the way you talk or anything else, like screw them, who cares? Like, I think that that's very freeing. And honestly, I wish there was something more like TikTok out when I was first starting my online business journey because 10 years ago when I was getting started, I was in law school and then I was an attorney. And so I had this career and I was really hesitant to post on social media because I didn't want the people inside of the legal community and in my community to know what I was doing. I was trying to make a little bit of extra money because I had $200,000 in student debt and I wanted to pay it down as quickly as possible. But I didn't want to potentially jeopardize my career by letting people know that I was doing other things besides focusing on my actual legal career. So I understand if you're hesitant or if you're wanting to create without the whole entire world knowing what you're doing, because it takes a lot of the pressure off. And it's also why TikTok is the perfect platform for you. Now, at this point, I wanna move on and I wanna talk about the C in our ABCs, which is conversion. Because if you're an online business owner like me, you are posting content and you are building an audience on social media because you need to make money. And the first thing that you need to know is that you aren't gonna be making a lot of sales with only a thousand followers, even if you have that link in your bio. You just don't have the traffic yet. You don't have the views and you're not able to drive enough people to that link. But it's okay, it's going to come. You've reached the stage where the snowball starts rolling downhill and gets bigger. And I promise you, once that snowball starts rolling, it gets to be a lot of fun. I said it before, but I know a lot of coaches, freelancers, course creators, and other digital product and service-based creators that are making over $10,000 a month with only 10,000 followers. Because the number of followers that you have on TikTok is completely independent from how much money you can make from the platform. In fact, it's the bingeable content, not necessarily the viral content that is going to drive most of your leads and most of your sales. But you have to create the audience growth type content and go viral with that stuff to get eyeballs on your profile in the first place so people see that bingeable content and then eventually go to your link and convert. And so what I want to do right now is start setting you up so that way you can be successful as your account 
account starts to grow and start making that money and so that you can make 10,000 or more dollars per month when you only have 8,000, 10,000 followers on TikTok. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to get a stand store. And yes, I have an affiliate link in my description. And if you use it, I will make a little bit of money from you paying for it, but none of it will come out of your pocket. It's like a little referral for me referring it, but I'm not referring it because it makes me money. In fact, what I could recommend is that you use a whole bunch of different tools that are gonna cost you more money but make me more money, but that's not what I wanna do because Stan is literally the best tool that you can use. And one of the reasons that it's the best tool is because when people click on your Stan store link, they are not gonna to be told like this big warning of like, hey, you're leaving TikTok. It was designed for TikTok. It's built natively into TikTok. And so because you don't have that warning, you're gonna have a higher percentage of the people that click on your link that actually make it to your little storefront. It's also super easy to use. It's very affordable. And it's gonna allow you to collect emails, to grow your email list, to sell digital products, to book calls. And they're putting out all kinds of new features like you being able to send autom email automations and things like that that I haven't even dug into yet. So the Stand Store is like this all-in-one platform that's perfect for TikTok that's gonna allow you to start getting leads, growing your email list, and making money. Now, the biggest mistake that you can make after you get your link and you get your stand store is creating too many offers. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep focusing on growth. Make creating content your priority. If it takes you longer to start building your list and building your products and all of those things because you don't have them yet, that's fine. Establish this habit of creating. Keep the growth rolling and then just build the products and the funnels and all of those things slowly in the background. I actually talk about this pretty extensively in this video here where I talk, talk to you about how to build a sales funnel. And the reason that it's so important is because if you don't have the traffic, if you're not able to send people and turn them from viewers into like going and clicking on your link, then you're not gonna get any sales anyway. And so creating the content is the most important thing you can do. So once you get your link, the first thing that I would recommend is that you just put Put in an application that way you can book people onto calls sell them your freelance service your coaching your course whatever it is now this is great because hopping on calls with people does take some time but you're usually able to charge higher prices as well it's also incredibly easy to set up an application or a booking link so you can kind of sift through to figure out who's a good fit for who you work with and then you can hop on the phone with them and sell them into your coaching program. But most importantly, you will start getting paid to do market research. These conversations that you're having with people, you're going to start finding out what are the problems that they have? What are the obstacles that they're running into? What are the things that they're scared of? And that's going to help you develop a better marketing message and create better content. My best video here on YouTube is about what do you do when you're stuck at 200 views? And there's 160,000 views on that video today as I'm recording. And I knew when I posted it that that video was going to crush because I had spoken to so many of you on the phone and I had seen the comments on TikTok and I had seen the comments on YouTube and 80% of what everybody was saying is like, I'm stuck at 200 views. I don't know what to do. Does the algorithm hate me? Am I shadow banned? And so when you get that market research, you can create amazing content that's going to grow your audience and then start driving sales. So start with the application. It's super easy and you can start making money. Next, I want you to build a free lead magnet. We need to start building your email list as soon as possible. Now, if you don't know what a lead magnet is, it just means some sort of freebie that's going to get people onto your email list because the money is in the list. You need a way to nurture people and to stay top of mind with people and get into their inbox and keep being in their life every single day without relying on the TikTok algorithm or any other algorithm to put you in front of them. Like, I don't know that you're ever going to see another YouTube video for me. I can't guarantee that. And I don't know if you're ever going to see another one of my TikTok videos. But if you join my email list and I send an email to you, I can guarantee that it's going to hit the inbox. And that doesn't mean that you're going to open it and read it, but it gives me a much bigger chance of staying in your world and you getting to know me than anything else I can do. It also eliminates a lot of the risk because social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, anything else, we call those rented audiences because you're building them on someone else's platform. The only owned audience that you have is your email list because you can download that list literally and take it to any other server to be able to contact them. So your email list is the lifeblood of your business as a creator. The other reason that I want you to focus on a lead magnet next is because it allows you to kind of experiment and see what works. I like to create video trainings for my lead magnets because they're easy to create and I can just kind of cycle through different ideas and experiment until I find something that works really well. And really the thing that I'm focusing on the most is I'm experimenting with the copy inside of my stand store. So if I'm not getting a lot of leads from one of my lead magnets, I'm not going to just throw it away right out of the gate. I'm actually going to experiment and try using different words because words are what convert. Let me give you an example. In my other 
business, I have a course that's had over 6,000 students and has made us millions of dollars. And it's teaching people how to become freelance digital marketers, specifically running paid Facebook advertising for businesses to help them get clients. Now, I had a lead magnet about that that I was using on TikTok and I kept experimenting with the copy. And based on what I was seeing from other creators in the space and the things that people were telling me and commenting inside of my content, I came up with this idea of like becoming a highly paid digital marketer. And so I used that on the lead magnet and my conversions to my email list went through the roof. And so then when I saw that, I took it to my other business and I said to my partner like, hey, this copy's working really well. We should try it on our webinar and in our opt-ins. And so we did, and we saw a massive increase in conversions. And that meant more leads and more sales. So doing that market research and experimenting with those words is gonna help you be more profitable. Now, my goal for all of this is for you to eventually build a system where you can just focus on creating amazing content for your audience that generates leads and sales sales on autopilot. And in order to do that, you need to create something that I call the TikTok funnel, which is basically like how you set up your bio, your link in bio, the pin videos in the playlist that you have and combine that with everything that we talked about today. And in this next video, I break it all down step by step so you know exactly what to do and you can create a more effective funnel to grow your business with TikTok.